I would leave you, um, this journey that I'm about to take you on is going to be a little noisier. It's not going to be whispered. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy on this journey. Long story short. So, um, and also, due to my lack of coordination and grace from time to time, it's going to seem a little wobbly and out of control. And, um, there will be times where, um, there's going to be some technical difficulty. <laughs> so there's that to, um, remember as well going forward. So apologies in advance. And, um, kind of not. It's something I've been thinking about for a while and um, I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna hop on a go bus today. Have my presto card ready. Um, it's about 6.30 or so in the morning and <laughs> I, I have, um, you know, some light layers packed inside. I have the basic necessities for an overnight and um, I should be fine. <laughs> I should be fine. But uh, yeah, nevertheless, uh, pray for me. And moral of the story, hope you enjoy this. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this uh, travel diary. And yeah, I guess for my favorite moments or um, any chance that I get to, um, you know, feel comfortable enough to, you know, pop the phone out, I will, and, um, yeah. <laughs> so here's the sunshine, around 6.30ish. Um, I do have a destination in mind, uh, I can say that much, I'm not gonna say it now, but, uh, all that I know is that things are subject to change, and, uh, I may do an overnight, I may not, but I'm going to go with my gut. I'm just gonna go with my gut and uh, I guess I'm challenging myself to um, stop worrying. So let's hope I, let's hope I uh, rise to the challenge and succeed. And most importantly, learn again how to fucking relax. So let's try to relax together <laughs> so we're at the bus stop we're trying to go okay so as i expected our ride is going to be here in about 15 minutes so yeah let's just look forward to that i'm just gonna chill here enjoy this uh, sunshine and uh yeah we're gonna be hopping on one of these i can promise that much <laughs> off the bus why am I not surprised um that's very typical <laughs> um yeah I really need to use the bathroom I don't know where to go to use the bathroom but I'm gonna figure this out <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out and um yeah these murals are pretty amazing 
Um, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know if I said it already, but the driver told me to uh, have a nice day. And she did not seem bitchy at all. That's really cool. And I told her to have a nice day too. I told her thank you. Um, yeah, let's find a bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna explore. And if I see anything interesting, then I'm going to show it. <laughs> neighborhood so gorgy I've been walking for quite a bit but isn't this so pretty like to me I find it so pretty yeah I I'm trying to figure out um, where other go bus stops are so then I can hop on whenever pretty much because I'm thinking about heading out west for sure today but I'm really glad that I stuck around and gave Oshawa a chance because I feel like it's like how do you describe it? I feel it's lit <laughs> lit in a in a chill way, you know what I mean? It may not be crazy overwhelming like stimuli for a lot of people, but for me it's just it's such a breath of fresh air because I'm always surrounded by uh, noisiness and like ratchetness if I'm being completely honest and here it's you know it's small town enough where like if a stranger passes you by and they notice you they're like oh hey and I'm like hi <laughs> so um oh yeah I think this is like the student center for University of Ontario so that's pretty cool that looks sick right am I the only one who thinks that looks sick but yeah, I'm like wondering myself which way to go down, this way or that way, or should I turn around now and and rest on the bus? But I promised myself I'm gonna have lunch here. I just don't know where, but y'all gonna figure. Uh, y'all gonna find out soon. <laughs> you to see this beautiful like sunshine right here freaking gorgeous I don't mean to make you blind but like wow yeah today is a gorgeous day <laughs> so my rest stop for lunch is Arby's in here I have a cherry coca-cola um, there's just like really fancy like raspberry iced tea in here I forgot the brand um, and I also put um, uh, Minute Maid lemonade in there, so that will be pretty awesome. And I decided to try their Greek loaded curly fries because, first of all, I've been missing their curly fries since forever for like years and years and years. And the fact that, like, I was thinking about uh, Greek fries from All Stars, this just seemed like the logical choice. So I'm gonna enjoy myself, baby. It's like. So, um, my feet are exhausted. Translation, I believe that my day around Oshawa has come to a close and I'm ready to hop onto the Go Bus to another surprise location. And um, yeah, I got my Presto card ready. Mmm. Or just like, I'm gonna just like put my Presto card like under my leg. <laughs> and I have road trip snacks I was just laughing to myself in the store because I was just like <laughs> it reminded me of um, that scene from E.T. when they made a trail for um, obviously E.T. to follow <laughs> uh, yeah I don't know how I, I can't remember like how they um, discovered he like Reese's Pieces but like I thought that was that was, that was pretty like sweet but then like 
Auntie Jackie like made a reference like to the movie and ever since I see <laughs> ever since I see like anything related to ET I just laugh at Auntie Jackie's joke but like <laughs> basically she was dissing a fan well not a fan uh, she was dissing a hater uh, and calling <laughs> calling him ET oh my God. I think his name was Joel. <laughs> We have another road trip snack just in case um yeah it's it's just nice to have like variety if, if like if I'm not happy with well happy with one there's another option and um did I did I mention them in front of Durham Region Courthouse? It's pretty lit. It's pretty lit. I saw plenty, plenty of beautiful parks today, so um definitely a reason to come back and explore them all um another time, but Right now, I'm just thinking about um, covering as much ground um, outside of my usual um, residence until, I don't know, I guess learn more about what I like about architecture, um, the way that people, the way that different people live, etc, etc. Just, this is all um, a personal learning experience. I'm really enjoying it. Like, I'm just basking in this glorious sunshine. It's just the right temperature. Before I was like sweating though for a good second and I was just like you know what it's good because the thing is that not only am I getting minutes and like miles of walking I'm getting a good sweat in so it's just like it's good for my heart and my body this is, this is fantastic I need to do this more often just like get away to a place I've never been before and just like just wander um, but yeah I shall see you on the bus <laughs> bus terminal and um, there was something that I was meaning to mention for yeah we're just waiting for our bus in the meantime um, it was so funny I was walking on the way here right and I hear somebody blasting uh, their song uh, and I turn to my right and I see a big bright yellow truck and um, the thing that I found so cool was that um, <laughs> they were blasting Tony Braxton and I'm like yes I thought it was amazing, so... Whew. And also to keep in mind, uh, I also saw um, a place that was dedicated to um, war-related stuff and I was just like, Ugh. anything to do with like military and like weapons and all that stuff, Ugh. it gives me the heebie-jeebies, so... Next time, when I come here, I'm gonna explore the south side because I basically covered a lot of the north side, so... <laughs> I think I'm ready to board the bus. We landed <laughs> at Richmond Hill Center. Um, I promised myself for quite some time, I think about a year now, that I would explore this place. The thing is, I'm low-key feeling tired and I'm wondering to myself should I book a place to stay right now or should I just like chill in the park right now so I don't know we're gonna maybe sit down first or something and then like walk around I don't know um, but time will tell I'm inside the Silver Star. This is my first time being over here for real. And uh, yeah, I don't know if this theater is connected to anything else, but I guess I'm gonna try and find out. Um, what you call it? I'm wondering if I should like just watch a movie just to rest my legs. I'm just like, I don't know. Cause I don't know where else to go from here. So I'm just like. watch this this movie simply to rest my feet and I'm wondering if I should eat something <sighs> yeah like there's like yo-yos right there and I'm just like I've never had yo-yos before but I'm like I'm not really craving anything sweet so I'm wondering should I get something salty first 
I'm having an early dinner. <laughs> You're gonna laugh at me. Okay, I, I just paid um, eight dollars for this uh, for my very first uh, yo-yo con concoction here. Wait, hold on. Let me give you the proof that it's yo-yos. Right? right there. Right there. I might hate this. I might enjoy this, but I'll let you know later. Okay, so I just came out of uh, Tolkien. My hair was a mess, which made sense because the wind was whipping it around and my hair is oily in and of itself. So I really need to go somewhere where they do have a shower. But aside from that, um, my battery is 40%. So I'm thinking, it's so bright outside. So like it wouldn't like kill me if I were to stay in a little bit longer. So I'm thinking what I might do is like have a late, well like have like pizza while I'm charging my phone over here <laughs> and um yeah hopefully we can find somewhere to sleep tonight and if not i think worst case scenario i'm gonna head on to the airport via the 40 bus i've just found out that it's called the 40 um what else oh yeah also the yogurt that i had was disgustingly sweet so I can see why I haven't ordered it thus far while I was in Scarborough or Toronto, so I'll see you in a bit. Alright, as I am charging my phone, I am using basically dinner as an excuse. Um, quite pricey, but I would say it's worth it uh, considering uh, the quantity. I don't know what the percentage of my phone will be, but I know I'm gonna be stocking it right here. Alright, fixed my hair in the bathroom. And, uh, yeah, it looks like today won't be the day that, um, whatchamacallit. Today isn't the best day for me to wander around uh, Richmond Hill because it's actually quite dark and uh, quite chilly if I do say so myself. So I decided to layer up a little bit. And I think we are going to head to a not so uh, unfamiliar location, although as usual I will keep it a surprise. And um, so look. I felt like there was like a family that was like laughing at my hair. And I'm just like, yeah I know it does not look sexy when it's greasy and uncombed. So I decided to like, so just keep this memory fresh in your mind <laughs> also look at that beautiful moon yeah, and besides even if I wanted to look for a hotel around here it's just way too dark it's not safe so it's just like I gotta hop on to some kind of mode of transportation anyways um, I forced a bunch of fries down my uh, throat basically but I did it pretty smartly pretty wisely if, if I do say so myself um, the bright side though is that, um, you know, it kind of helped me with my uh, uh, fatigue from waking up at around like 4 in the morning. Yeah, I woke up around 4 in the morning and um, yeah, the time is now almost 10 p.m. So I'm just like, that's a long time to be awake, right? Well, at least like it is a little bit longer than usual for me even though I'm a night owl and uh that's all I have to say for myself. Um, so the fries are thankfully finished. Still have like half of a regular drink. Um, so the sugar and carbs shall uh, keep me awake comfortably on the way to our next surprise destination, um, which isn't really much of a destination. It's more of like a transfer, transfer point in my eyes. Um, yeah, I can't lie, I'm still feeling uh, fear, if I'm being completely honest, but the whole purpose of this trip is for it to be spontaneous and for me to not have any guilt about it whatsoever, because the thing is, like, I've been dreaming about having this kind of trip for a few years now, and it's time that I stop being so afraid of everything. <laughs> so, I guess my carriage awaits. at a 
11.47 at the famous Pearson Airport. And I'm thinking about buying a Greyhound ticket here. But I'm not going to tell you until we get there. <laughs> I don't mean to be a stalker, but they changed the seating around here. Okay. I guess they got to do whatever they need to to keep this place running efficiently. So I'm just like... Alright. <laughs> Holy crap, they changed the seating basically everywhere. And I'm like, dude, what kind of VIP looking ass shit am I looking at right now? This is lit. <laughs> you know, sometimes change is really good. I did a very um, messy sink wash for my hair. I was just like, you know what, it's just too much grease. I gotta do something about it. And uh, I brushed my teeth. And I was like editing um, the footage from Oshawa and uh, basically arriving here. And I'm just like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's my hormones, but I don't like myself talking. Maybe it's my period or whatever, but it's just like, I don't know. I find myself annoying and boring, but I don't know if someone likes this, then at least it wasn't all for naught. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, basically um, it's almost three in the morning and I kid you not, um, there was at least one time where I would come home around like, whatchamacallit, 4 a.m. or even later than that, or earlier than that, depending how you see it. Um, and the thing is, there wasn't a major issue with it. And like, this is basically my second or so time of, you know, actually not being home in the same day and it's just like you, you guys are acting like I've never done this before <laughs> and the thing is that like unlike those times I'm actually you know more honest about um, where I'm going and that I'm not gonna be in the city and like I don't know it's just I could tell by my mom's text that she's more like angry because the thing is that she's saying she's basically has this tone when she's texting how come you're not telling us I, I guess in terms of specifics where I am and then like she's basically you know complaining about how everybody should always like tell you know the rest of their family exactly where they are but it's just like that isn't always the case I mean like I'm not the only family member that just goes off somewhere um, unexpectedly and doesn't tell the rest of them. And mind you, I'm not pointing fingers or anything, but the thing is that, like, whatchamacallit, the thing is that it's it seldom happens when I do it. It's more often other members of the family who do that, so it's just like... I don't know, what is this double standard? So I was just like, okay, like, you're mad at me a little bit, but it's just like, I don't have time to waste being mad at you. I'm just, like, venting right now, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, I basically went into a long, uh, list of texts just rationally explaining my reasons why I need to just take a break from being in the city. And, you know, just letting them know if somebody younger than me can do it, I can do it too. There's not an issue. And that, you know, I'm not going to be an ocean away. I'm only going to be a few towns away. And, um, yeah, I don't see what's the big deal. And the thing is that when I was much younger, I was literally an ocean away for, like, 10 days. So, I don't, I don't see what's the problem. But, and the thing is that I, I already made it past the legal drinking age for uh, Canadians and even Americans too so it's just like the thing is being an adult you know by definition by law I'm I don't owe you an explanation for where I am like not to be rude but I don't I really really don't you know and it's just like yes I'm still related to you yes that's my permanent residence but it's just like dude like at the end of the day I'm my own person now you know what I'm saying? So, and the thing is, <laughs> it's not like I'm even like taking a plane or anything like that. I'm literally just trying to find a coach bus. A coach bus. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty freaking safe in my books. But 
So I was just telling them, you know what, guys, I, I, I know you care, but I need to do what I got to do. I need to do what I got to do. I, it's just like, yeah, you can stomp your feet at me via text, but I'm just like, nah, like, I'm not going to stomp back at you. I'm just going to set my foot down and be like, hey, I need this. Like, you're not changing my mind. You're not changing my mind like you could have when I was 18. That's not going to fly, okay? And... And basically what I was thinking right now, if you guys, if you guys are, are worried, please worry about my sleep. <laughs> please worry about my sleep above all else because I know how to keep myself safe. I know because of how many mistakes I've made and I've learned from them, you know what I mean? So it's just like, it's just, I wish I could tell them like not to be mean or anything like, I love you guys. I could try to answer these texts all night. And I, here's the thing, my dad's drunk, okay? And I knew that when he texted me in Tagalog, I was just like, you don't speak to me in Tagalog. You always speak to me in English. And like, I I always noticed that he only speaks to me in, in Tagalog when he's drunk. And I'm just like, bruh, <laughs> bruh. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to make myself comfortable. I know that, you know, I have, it's just, I know I'm not the only person in my life, but eventually it's gonna get to that point, so it's just, I can't be sheltered all the time at least actually I shouldn't be sheltered period and it's just <sighs> the thing is how do you expect me to have responsibilities and no freedoms you know what I'm saying how does that make any sense especially in a Canadian context come on now <laughs> come on good morning I have this uh, lovely heat lamp over here at the TTC stop uh, in front of the airport and uh, the good morning message on the side. Um, so I was right that Greyhound does um, serve over here. However, um, the bus that I'm looking at I think is only going to arrive here at 7 10 p.m. and that's a little late and I'm awake at like what 5 something a.m. I gotta get going and I really wanna get a hotel as soon as possible, rest up and explore. Um, yeah, hopefully when I go downtown they'll have an earlier bus available. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, I decided to save my lovely uh, chicken wrap from last night as my breakfast, so yeah, that's great. <laughs> and um, yeah, I want to see the sunset outside. I don't know if you can see the top of the road. I'm glad I decided to head out at this time because even though I've like slept for like what, about an hour? I think I'm still able to enjoy what's around me.
my first solo travel ground ticket. I'm struggling to fall asleep. <sighs> Baby, I was playing with my fishing spinner for like a good 15 minutes or something like that, but I was just like, nah, I feel like literally like physically sick. I need to give me some tea. But then I came over here and I realized Tim Hortons was closed, so I just decided, okay, I'm gonna go to McDonald's to get a medium iced tea. Like, that's still tea, so. I just want these nerves to go away. I'm probably gonna stretch a little bit more, and I should be fine, right? Oh. I wasn't expecting to feel like this. I do not want to throw up. I do not want to throw up, but like, I just, oh my gosh. It feels like, yeah, it feels like my tummy is not agreeing with the chili sauce that I had on my chicken wrap. It's just like, I think there was like too much mayo in there. I'm just like, I don't like mayo. And I don't like it when things have too much dairy. I mean, like, I can have things that are like, you know, processed. Not like processed, I mean like, you know, when the milk is transformed into something else, like cheese, like I can handle that. But yeah, I feel like yogurt is like a little too pure for me, so oh my gosh, that was just that was just not fun. It was not fun. <sighs> yeah, I need to like stay away from dairy for a little bit, with the exception of cheese, obviously. So, remind me. And I don't know why I decided to like get um, a whole um, meal from outtakes yesterday. I was just like, I don't know. I guess when I got the poutine um, that time with my sister while we're watching like Ugly Dolls, I just assumed that everything was gonna be relatively small, but like everything was heavy and big. And I'm like, no wonder it was like almost $17. Like everything was huge. And I'm just like, that's a regular size drink. Those are regular ass fries. That's a that's the standard size of a, oh my gosh. Like it's just like yeah, I guess it's like generous for sure, but like I guess someone of my height in particular just cannot handle it. So I'm like I have to remind myself that like my my stature I guess can like only handle like so much. So something tells me that when I land where I land, I'm gonna show you later. I'm not gonna be eating much. I'm not gonna be eating much. And I still like have a shit ton of candy in my in my bag. So I'm like break stops that was the thing for when me and my family went to Chicago so this is it's pretty uh, nostalgic right now like I remember the layout and yeah I pretty much remember the layout and it's just like I'm here but like I, yeah I would show you but the thing is like there are like people around me and I don't know how comfortable they would feel so I'm just like mm, give you a little like quick glimpse behind me but, yeah second time passing through here and I guess I didn't notice it before because probably the weather was uh, darker the last time that I came by here but yeah I'm realizing the second time they actually have a lot of shit going on down here and I'm actually really excited I know for sure there's definitely um, so many things that I could only 
cover so much in two days, but nevertheless, we're gonna try. <laughs> um, I think first off, I'm gonna book a room. And, uh, or before I, before I book a room, I'm actually gonna use the bathroom. And then, yeah. <laughs> All right, so done using the bathroom at the Windsor station. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head to, I think it's called Four Points by Sheridan. And this should be cool because I've never tried a Sheridan hotel ever. So hopefully I can afford it. <laughs> So, turns out Marriott has a place right next to the Greyhound station and usually when um, a hotel is close to like a place of transportation, like say for example an airport, it tends to be cheaper, which makes sense. So I'm thinking, hmm, I might not want to write that off too soon. I might want to compare uh, Sheridan and Marriott online, probably somewhere where there's Wi-Fi. And, um, Aside from there. Okay, I feel really dumb because like there was a sign in front of one of the windows that said uh, coming soon and I'm like wait you guys aren't open yet? Okay, kind of unfortunate news. I used the Tim Hortons Wi-Fi, hence this beautiful Oreo ice cap. And the thing is, I looked up the cheapest one and I saw it. I legit saw it. But the thing is that I clicked on directions and the thing is that each time I click a directions, the Google Maps app closes down and I'm just like, no! <laughs> but the thing is that by bus, it's 48 minutes and if I were to walk there, it'd be a mission and I probably wouldn't get a room anyway. So I guess I'm going to head on over to um, the first hotel thingy that I saw around here. And um, yeah, because I feel like that's one of the second cheapest and the thing is like the price difference isn't even that big, but yeah, it's just... So we're gonna go for a little trek. Uh, this place has just views upon views upon views. I, I don't know what to do. Oh, this place is just too gorgeous to have just one 360, so another one. Baby, could you like stop being gorgeous for like a few seconds? Thank you. helps me find the way he do Giving a shout out uh, for this uh, guy at cash money um, I basically searched up um, my preferred hotel um, at the hospital and thankfully the the guys there were kind enough to give me their Wi-Fi password and I'm just like oh, okay this isn't uh, bad like I could walk for a little bit it's like less than an hour so I was like I can take this so um yeah, and then I realized, wait, I don't know the beginning intersection. So what I did was like, okay, I only know this road that I'm on. And then I went over there and he told me the shortcut. And I'm just like, thank you, Jesus. So basically he wants me to find uh, the main intersection where there's an Applebee's, a Tim Hortons, and a Petro. And he's saying it's one of the main ones. So I'm going to take his word for it. And um, oh, he saved my life. <laughs> and I think he's Filipino too. So it's just like... Huh. I would probably like probably had some like sympathy points for me so <laughs> a mess so the guy was really spot on about what he was talking about and I guess that concludes our first day here in um, Windsor it was really really fun just you know walking and looking at the the cool almost nostalgia instilling things and yeah, what I love about this place is that it feels urban, but like cozy at the same time. It gives me that kind of, um, oh look, there's a Dollarama right there. They know my needs, like the back of my hand. Um, yeah, it feels like you're in the States, but not. And I just, I love it. I freaking love it. All right, enough talk. Let's get to the room. All right, guys, tonight is our first night. 
after three attempts, we finally uh, got the key to work, so I'm inside, lock the door. Um, we're gonna do this elevator channel style, or I'm gonna try to mimic him a little bit. So here are the hangers. I'm literally just touring this like the same as you guys. Um, should I take off my shoes? Let's take off my shoes. Um, or, yeah, whatever, I'll just take off my shoes here. Wearing socks together. So here's the bathroom. Got ourselves a cute little toilet there. What do we have here? Let's turn on the light. Let's see if there's a light around here. Is there a light? Is there a light? Da -da 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 -da. No, it's okay. So I'm just gonna go like this. This is a green tea conditioner. Very, very cute. Um, I'm assuming they're all green tea because they're all the same color. This is a green tea shampoo. I'm really excited to try these actually. Um, and we also have body soap. So that looks really, really nice. Um, so that's right there. You got the trash. Very nice. Uh, toilet paper's here. Sink is here. I like the uh, counter space. I could probably put my bag or something. There's a hair dryer, but I never use a hair dryer. Got some Kleenex. Um, I think that's a vent or something. And, uh, this is the shower. This is the shower. Let's see. Let's see the water running. I don't know how to turn this on. I'll figure that out later. Anyways, but yeah, I'm definitely going to shower tomorrow. Um, if I want to extend my stay, I have to go to the front desk tomorrow at 11. So here's my outfit of the day, nothing fancy. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's illuminate this place. Are you ready? How do you turn this on? I don't know how you turn it on. Okay, you know what? That's okay. Um, so yeah, we got ourselves a TV. What do we have in here? Got extra drawer space. I'm assuming they're all empty. I'm too lazy to figure that out. Got a lovely microwave situation. What do we have here? We got a mini fridge. Looking real clean. Looking sleek. Although I don't have anything to refrigerate, so... Yeah, and then what do we have here? Um, it's just some kind of box. Is this supposed to be like an ice bucket? Then you have cups. And I'm assuming this is a coffee maker. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let's turn on this light if we can. Um, let me try to figure this out right now. Oh crap, I'm trying to turn it on, but I don't know how. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, yeah, maybe we can get like a better tour tomorrow, but basically there's like sugar and sweetener over there. And um, here's the curtains. I have myself a little couch and a table, and a chair over there, and an ironing board. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the room. I don't have any complaints. Looks pretty, looks pretty swell. Let me just look at this bed right here. <laughs> That's a nice pillow. Um, yeah, I feel like if I leave the TV on, I shouldn't be scared while I'm sleeping. So this is a queen bed. Got yourself the uh, the blanket here. Here's the sheet, looking good. Um, yeah, they they really tucked it in tight there. So if there's a creepy stain, I'll never know. Um, yeah, this is our room, and I'm gonna do a little crazy something. That's usually a tradition for girls every time they enter a hotel. We're gonna do this together. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I'm a yes. I'm basically just gonna have like a little dance party here by myself. Try to figure out how the lights work so that the dance party isn't so dark. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I finally <laughs> found out how to turn on the lights in this room, baby. Hey y'all, um, it's a good morning. I'm wearing. <laughs> like a strip show but this is what I'm gonna be wearing when it gets too hot it's basically a crop top 
I'm gonna go over to the dollar store and pick up some of the sunblock and maybe a pair of shorts because I really want to have an even tan if I take this off. Like I want my thighs to be like, you know, I want the same like tan ratio, if you know what I'm saying. So if, say for example, if this whole arm is dark, I want this whole leg to be dark, you feel me? So, um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna like double check that I didn't leave anything. Highly doubt it. You probably can't see this, but yeah, it's just the bathroom. I took a shower here. Everything seems fine. I didn't break anything, so I should be able to get my deposit back. <laughs> so yeah, evidence that I was here. <laughs> and they also, in case we were making love, we could put this up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I didn't leave my charger there. My, my sketchbook and my pens are in my bag, so that's good. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys like a, a lighter... Um, I mean a brighter view of like how this room looks and uh, yeah It's like about 830 right now. It's really bright out. I feel like it's gonna be a long gorgeous day Let's go get some breakfast <laughs> Hey y'all, so we just uh, checked out of the hotel for night one. We're gonna check back in later. Um, yeah, I have this jungle to go through and it's gonna be okay though because it's not even that far. One time I went across like a frozen river situation, whatever the hell that was, and my sister followed behind me and we were fine. So this should be a piece of cake. You guys wanna join me on this journey across this jungle right now? Well, this marsh thingy. Yeah, I'm trying to like find a way to get across without wetting my feet significantly but that would be ironic because the thing is that whatchamacallit we headed to the beach baby so I guess I'm just not gonna worry about dirtying my shoes all that much I just want to get across I'm just gonna stay on the mud and I should be fine Woo! Oof, girl I almost fell okay we made it Hope you guys enjoyed that journey through the jungle.
think. show you guys this background. Isn't that sick? <laughs> Baby girls on the radio. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so much. Okay, I lied. I did a little bit of shopping. <laughs> But the thing is, I saw a triple belt situation and thankfully, I'm pretty sure it was on sale because the total seemed to count in that it was a sale. I'm thinking about like giving one belt to like my mom and one belt to my sister. And I think they might like them too. I'm gonna let them pick the colors first. There's like brown, white, and black. And I don't really care which one I get. I just, yeah, figured. I got a surprise gift for my dad. I might as well get a surprise gift for them. So on the quest of trying to get the right change, and I forgot to ask her to get the change in just loonies and toonies, which was uh, not very, um, not very uh, clever of me. <laughs> However, I did end up getting like a little bit of giftage for my family, so a good outcome from all of this. So I wanted to get this little doohickey for my sister. <laughs> She didn't even call that a doohickey. I thought it was super cute and it, was, it matches her aesthetic, so I was just like, why not? And then like this, I want to get from my mom because like I've been wanting to get her hair mask for some for quite some time. She keeps saying that she's getting bald, but I feel like if she just gives her hair the right ingredients, she'll be fine. And I got my dad a little uh, dove set here for Father's Day, and um, yeah, that's what it do. All right, Dub and Shire, thank you for the experience. I had a lot of fun. Okay, I'm finally seated. 
and uh, this is what I have. This is my first time ever trying their fish and chips, but it makes sense though because it's new. Look how cute! <laughs> and they gave me my tartar sauce, which is great. I like tartar sauce a lot. I like. I like uh, may mayonnaise-based like, sauces, like if it has like a really strong flavor. But otherwise, I'm just like, nah, I'm not a mayonnaise person. <laughs> like if I were to get like uh, spicy mayo on like sushi, I'd love it. But and then I got my. This is the. I'm pretty sure this is like the pineapple um, mango smoothie, but this time it has banana, and I never tried that before. And I think this is new as well. And also, to break the five <laughs> that I got at Shoppers, like I got these cookies. So I'll be able to have bus fare getting to the beach. And um, yeah, this is very beach related stuff, no? <laughs> and like, oh my gosh, um, yeah, I asked um, the girl at the till um, if there was a bus going this way. And thankfully, um, she has seen a bus going that way. And she was super thorough about like giving me details. and. Uh, um, she just let me know um, to check the stop number outside of um, the LCBO that I just passed by. And uh, she told me to like check out like the stops of that bus number like via the Wi-Fi. And I'm like, oh, I'm kind of too lazy to like go out and like check the number. So what I'm gonna do is like I'm just going to punch in how to get from here to the beach, and they'll probably show me the bus. And um, yeah, she was so sweet. <laughs> She thought I was trying to like give her something when I was like going like this. I was just asking her to fist bump. I literally like fist bumped like my two hands together just to like give her the idea of what I wanted her to do. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> and here's the funny thing, like as I was like putting my receipt away, it totally dawned on me um, when I was like buying the cookies that like I just paid for it without taking them. And I forgot that I had to go to the other side to pick them up. I just like, I, was, I just cared more about breaking the change and like, she was so sweet. Like she came up to me with the cookies and I was just like. And like the other thing was, um, before this masterpiece has happened, I tried to um, do the table service thing. And the thing was, it wasn't even necessary because the thing is like, the only reason why I did that was so I could like, put these bags down and like just like just um because usually if i were to like um order i would like just pick it up at the thing right and obviously that means you know standing there but um yeah it this was like ready in no time so there was no need for me to just like you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so um it was a kind of a blessing that i was stupid about how this whole system worked it told me to like pick up my locator number, but I was just like, where do you, where do you get it? And like, <laughs> I kid you not, just before like the, um, I guess you could say server came out with the meal, like I kid you not, like two seconds before, um, the, the, the same cash lady, like she told me like, oh yeah, you could just like give me your number and I'll find it for you. And then like, that's when my meal suddenly arrived in front of my face and I was just like, and I was, I was so like freaked out about the timing because the thing is like when I saw it like it, there's literally a person behind me like with it like about to go to a table about to find me but I was right there and I was just like something is going on something is going on but take this in take this in okay I just like punched in a random number as the locator number because it was just like I'm pretty sure that's that's how you do it it's just like put in a random one Again, like this is my first time, so I wouldn't know. And <laughs> I punched in 79, as in 1979, as in the birth year for Aliyah. Because it makes sense at the time, because the thing is that, like, I just listened to Try Again at the mall. I was just like, okay. <laughs> like, maybe, like, I don't know. Maybe that the magic of that number just made things fall into place. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> I was such an awkward little dork. Like, what, what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just wanna look at this beautiful masterpiece. Look at this masterpiece. I think, I think you buy these like heart-shaped cookies. For me, I got like a rainbow chip one and a brownie one. I'm pretty sure like it goes straight to like the Ronald McDonald charity. Makes sense why they're shaped like hearts. You know what? While we're here, how about like we see them individually? 
We're about to do a McDonald's haul. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, uh, yeah, I want you to, I want you guys to see it in person. So like you can imagine what the brownie one looks like, right? And then this is the rainbow chip one. I have a thing for rainbow chip cookies, so. I shall see you on the bus. <laughs> all right, I'm all glossed up. My tummy is full, um, but without the guilt attached, which is, you know, not that common. Although I would like for it to be more common. Is this cute or not? <laughs> We're gonna head to the bus stop. too scary to go to the beach however the rain stopped and I'm thinking to myself I don't know what to do and I don't know where to go so I think for the time being I'm just gonna walk and listen to music and wherever I end up I end up I'm just gonna make sure that I stay close to wherever there are bus stops so then I can go back to the home base, if you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go back to the hotel um, probably after I have dinner. And I'm hoping tomorrow will be better weather for us to go to the beach. <laughs> and if not, we'll probably just go down this really beautiful uh, bike path that I saw when I arrived. So yeah, we got a plan A, we got a plan B. So. I shall see y'all later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, a lot of the people here are actually hilarious. <laughs> like, the bus driver was playing um, um, Evanescence. Um, there was radio or someone, or something. And <laughs> one of the pedestrians, I mean one of the uh, uh, passengers, she was saying like, Oh, I love this song. Thanks, bus driver. And I'm like, <laughs> Okay, all right. Yo, these people are crazy and I love it. <laughs> Lobster, and I'm like, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. I don't know if that's their motive, but look at these windows. Look at that. This fancy ass, like, anyway. Here's what I have for dinner 
I have a garden salad with Greek dressing, orange juice, classic for travelers, I know, I know, and a Happy Meal. Let's look inside this Happy Meal. I'm gonna show you when it's open later, I promise. Uh, and I have a crispy ranch chicken wrap with small fries. And um, yeah, I still need to find an ATM because I forgot that I had to take the bus back. But that's what travel is all about. It is adventures within an adventure. So. Let's look at these lights again. Look, look. What kind of fancy ass McDonald's? <laughs> so, my ugly doll is Ox. Um, and apparently, you get a little doll with a house. And, um,. I guess you can draw on your doll. And this is the house they gave me. I'm thinking Ox is inside of it, but it's super adorable. Um, yeah, it's super cute. Um, I'll, like, I'll build that later when I have the time. I also wanted to show you guys the, the sides of the, of the Happy Meal. It's super cute. And, uh... Is love your ugly side. I don't know why they're called ugly dolls. They're just look how cute. What the hell? Like they're so cute. I don't understand. Like when I watch the movie and like you look at like the pretty dolls, I thought they were creepy. Like I don't know. But then again, I was never like a person who was into like dolls, dolls. But I'm into these. Like this one's my favorite because like they're so like I want to like just oh they're so derp. I look how derp they are. Look how. What is that face? Like, I can't deal with the cuteness. It's too much. I don't know. There's, I think there was like another thing I wanted to see. I wanted to show you guys. Hmm. I think I lost the rest of here. But, yeah, I'm just sipping on my orange juice. And, uh,. I'm gonna try to find a way to get some less fare. All right, good night, Windsor. See you in the morning, and then we're leaving.
actually, there's two. There's two different sets. So, we have the ironing board in this location. Same box, same everything. Um, the front desk person told me that breakfast is between 6 to 9 tomorrow. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. But I still had free breakfast anyway, regardless. Like, past 9, so. Anyway. Welcome to our new room. We have one bed for you and one bed for me. But nevertheless, let's jump up. Are you ready? <laughs> the other one. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I'm too lazy to figure out these lights. So I'm just using this lamp over here. And the front desk guy for this shift, he was really nice. We even started talking about weed. And I basically told him that uh, my first trip, I was starting to see ghosts. And, that, and then he was just like, yeah, you Here's to a good night. Uh, yeah, if I'm missing any details from this trip, I'm gonna update you later. So, thank y'all for the prayers. show you something. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I guess because I don't want to smell my own breath. But anyway, there's the mini fridge. Inside, over here, I have my salad because it was just, yeah, there wasn't enough uh, space in my tummy by the time that I finished my happy meal. Got a napkin over here. TV anyway, and then there's Travel Lodge right across from us, which is really cool. I'm thinking we might stay there, but I feel like, best case scenario, we just stay at a different uh, place each night next time. Because the thing is that you know how we got the thing is, like, I got lost yesterday, and like, yeah, just all the days I lost, so it's just like, yeah, I think to not force myself to have a deadline makes a lot of sense, like, for the next time. And I know that would be more, uh, like, supposedly more expensive, but I feel like each hotel probably has, like, their own system going on, so. Yeah, let's brush our teeth, and, yeah, it's like, it's about, what time is it? Uh, 7 Eleven. How interesting. <laughs> I'm just listening to like um, an unreleased uh, Aliyah clip and uh, yeah, it's calming me down. So, also, my nose is stuffy. I gotta like get to that. So, yep, yeah, this is my morning outfit. It's obviously not the complete outfit, but yeah, just trying to see how I'm coming along with my fitness goals. What do you guys think? Yeah. So I shall see you downstairs in one, two. Alright, I just got back from the breakfast room. I'm all brushed up, all dressed up. With the exception of um, lack of a bra, because I'm just like, I made both of them sweaty the past two days, so. But it's okay, because if I ever need a bra, um, I got some yesterday. Y'all want to see them? Y'all should see them. Those are the 
gifts for my parents, so no, that's not the one. But let me show you. It's kind of fun, you know, talking to you guys because I end up being uh, left handed. <laughs> And, you know, you know, I was, like, born right-handed, but I'm starting to become, like, more and more reliant on this one as well, so. My mom says that I'm becoming ambidextrous, and I'm just like, no, I'm, I just feel like I'm adapting. <laughs> so that's my Happy Meal toy. This is my sister's surprise toy for her. So, I know it's been a while since I've done a haul. And, like, you know, a lot of my stuff has gone private because I'm just like, you know what, I feel like I just, I feel like that content isn't really relevant to how I am now. But, yeah, here I got a pink sports bra. I just couldn't say no, even though, like, it's probably a size too small. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, basically they're all in the same style. I just got them in different colors, which is basically the same thing for my other, um, sports bras at home I, I think I have a sports bra addiction so this has like a really nice blue to it it's very um very fairy tale like I'd like to think but modern at the same time so that's the other one <laughs> and then last but not least for the bras anyway um I got this uh this lavender one it's nice very pretty too it's just like I couldn't resist they're all beautiful and, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to see the belts. Yeah, so I basically just got four things yesterday. So, here are the belts. I just decided to get, um, one belt for myself. So this black one over here for when I, um, get back to work. And, um, I guess my mom and my sister can decide between these two. They're both very nice. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, that's that's my clothing shopping haul, and I already showed you guys the gifts yesterday. Um, so they ran out of hot water downstairs, but I decided, okay, I'll just do a double-double situation. And I got my Frosted Flakes for the yogurt that the person forgot. <laughs> and it looks like um, my main entree for today's breakfast is the salad from yesterday. Here's how it looks right now. I don't know what the temperature is going to be like, but I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about going to the beach and then just like taking the ground in the evening or if I should just go straight. But like, <sighs> then again, I promised I'd be home today, but I'm like, uh, I don't want to do anything, guys. <laughs> A mess. Beautiful people decided to change out of my tank top into one of the bras. <laughs> so I don't mean to be pornographic right now. But anyway, um, I'm gonna little leave a little piece of myself over here. I finished my uh, body butter. Gotta get a new one later. But um, yeah, there's actually a lot of cheap lotion at the dollar store, so I'm not even gonna worry about uh, getting anything right now because um, the main thing that gets dry on me is my face and I have like a lip balm that I could just dab on. Yeah, it's looking a little gray. I'm thinking to myself, you know what? The latest bus going out to Toronto is um, leaving at five. So I'm thinking if I were to go to the beach with y'all, I could only be there for like an hour. But you know what? I think an hour would be all that we need to enjoy it, to be completely honest. So I don't know. Let's just give it our best shot. So anyway, we're all packed. We're ready to go. Making sure that like the pop is separated from like important papers, etc., etc. And, um, yeah, I uh, left the bed a little messy, but, <laughs> and, um, yeah, nothing's left here except what I'm willing to leave here. <sighs> yeah, we were ready to go. I was just, like, listening to Tupac, Easy e Biggie, um, you know, my big girl, Aaliyah, Tony, Monica, Brandy, Missy, um, yeah, and I couldn't help but feel my heart pumping, so I think I have to respect that I need to get out of here. I only have about, like, technically seven hours to enjoy myself. And, I don't know. 
yeah, 9.53 from 10 to, from 10 to, uh, 3, so that's about, like, 5 hours of actually being here, and then 2 hours at the station, but, you know, you take what you can get, and we only have so much time to do things, right, so, it is what it is. Alright, maybe we'll, like, leave that on at 2 from the beach. Just to keep things realistic. And, um, yeah, because you know me, I like to dilly dally, but at the same time. <sighs> yeah, there's like a little bit of garbage on the floor. Let me get that. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> yeah, it's bloody in here because of my vagina. But, <laughs> but, yeah, it's just like I don't want to spend the whole day like waiting at the station. It would make no sense, right? And I feel like if I were to wait at the station, I'd be tempted to leave anyway, so I might as well, like, get, um, as much, um, willingness to adventure out of our systems. <laughs> See you soon. Look at the sky, y'all. And, um, I've been waiting here for, like, some minutes. Um, I'm gonna give it, like, another five or something, just in case, but... Yeah, it looks like we're just gonna have to wait until next time heading to Detroit when we can actually visit the beach. I'm thinking just like have like a, a pre-trip before um, leaving for Detroit this year and then, yeah. There's me and the crew right here. I'm not completely alone. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm thinking, you know what? It's not the most uh, glamorous idea, but I honestly can just like kick my feet up and watch a movie or something around here. I saw Cineplex not too far away. And um, on the way um, to the Greyhound station, I can just like take a stop at the park and yeah. I think, that, I think that's fine enough. Like I don't even know if the movies are open if I'm being honest. So hell, we might even end up just being at the park today. <laughs> so, But it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing, so. I just don't want to be sitting in the station waiting anxiously to be called from my bus like I did for a Friday. So I was just like... No. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, sorry. Um, like I did for uh, Saturday. Like I did for Saturday. <sighs> Maybe I'll get a lucky streak today, who knows, but it looks like I'll be just going to the park with y'all. Okay, take this in. I waited about like four extra minutes, right? Thinking like, okay, like it, it's not here. And then I figured, okay, maybe they're just not running on Monday. But take this in. As soon as I cross the street to the other side, like how, like about like five minutes later or something like that, or maybe even, maybe a bit more because like the time on my phone is reading 1117. Um, that's when the bus that I was waiting for shows up and I'm just like, oh shit. But the thing was, that was the first bus of the whole day that I saw. So I'm thinking maybe the bus has just started running at that point. And I was just, Yeah, I guess I was just like too tired and like, ugh. And the thing is, I was telling myself, we could walk over to, um, thing, what should it called? The, the mall that we went to yesterday and just like pick up something, like maybe like get a music card or something, but I don't know, like part of me wants to wait to see another eight bus. I'm just, I'm just too tired to like figure out what I want to do. <laughs>
um, it takes a loop and then like heads downtown and I'm basically there like I'm at the bus terminal right now and I think it was God's way of saying like baby girl it's cold like you're gonna be at the beach shivering and late for your afternoon bus and I'm just like okay I guess I gotta buy my ticket now and just like have lunch by um, the riverside which is still pretty awesome so, but yeah the thing is like we're gonna have to do it indoors because you know it just looks like al fresco is just not gonna happen this time around <laughs> on this trip, I think God is happy right now because he's shining the sun and like letting me know I'm like, yes, you're right here at the right time. It's okay that things didn't really go according to plan because you were closer to what you wanted to do anyway. And I'm just like, alrighty, I feel you, I feel you. So, as much as I would love to go get Burger King, I'm just having a thing for fast food as of late. Um, I'm just gonna like turn to my left over here because that's where the river is and I just want to be sure that like oh maybe we can't turn there okay so maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till I get to that other intersection over there where there's actually people driving and then I'm gonna get left and then we go and find somewhere to eat yeah I'm just I'm not really particular about like getting anything fancy or anything like that I kind of just <laughs> Yeah, I kind of just want to be by that beautiful river right there. Oh, actually, we can walk here. My bad. Well, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I'm just in the mood to be by the water. Which makes sense because, you know, the whole Lake Michigan thing. And I know that we're not on Lake Michigan. Um, but yeah, it's just like, even if we went today, um, according to our original schedule, we'd still be late for the bus, And I'm, if I'm being completely honest. And I just know that the buses here for Transit Windsor, it's like, they have their own system going on, but they have a tendency to be um, really spaced apart, and that's not really helpful. So this is Windsor Hall. Are you like that? <laughs> Sorry if I'm like wobbly and stuff. I'm like trying to like give you all a view. But I'm like low key shivering because it's in the double digits. Well, supposedly the double digits, but it literally just feels like a single digit. It's like it's not even funny. <laughs> it literally feels like five degrees right now, five degrees Celsius. I'm like, bro, this is not 14 because I know what 14 feels like and it does not feel like this. So I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know what they're saying. But when I do choose a restaurant, we shall speak again. <laughs> we are across from the keg, but I'm not in a keg mood. However, I do want you guys to see these lovely pink trees that we have over here. And uh, we're at St. Clair College Center for the Arts. So if you're into musicals, like, you should probably come here, I guess. I guess, I, I suppose that it's for students who are studying and I'm assuming that the public can come and watch stuff that they're performing i'm assuming but i don't know but hopefully we can find something that's a little less um what do you call it um what's that what's that term i'm looking for but yeah let's try to find somewhere to eat that's less pretentious than the keg no offense the keg i mean like i feel like their food is like all right you know, but it's just too normal and too expensive for that normal. So I'm like, mm -mm, baby. Sorry, just, oh my gosh. I'm just taking in this view and I don't want you guys, I mean, I don't want you guys to miss it. So <sighs> it's super windy, but it's worth it. We can still have our um, picnic by the water. Um, they have an Egyptian uh, thing happening at the gym. Chunk Museum, how do I pronounce it? And I think this is validation that we're gonna pay homage to Baby Girl 
very soon because she loves Egyptian things. This is, wow, the more that I'm, I mean, the longer that I'm here, the more validation I'm getting. And I'm just like, okay, all right, I'm down for this validation. I'm down. I want to be dead. Sorry. <laughs> I, was listening, I was just listening to that earlier. These are sculptures of trees, huh? Oh my gosh. What? This is Windsor International something something. Hold on. And then I don't know what that is, but it looks interesting. So let's just walk down here. Oh, maybe we can like picnic over there. Then we can go for a walk along there on the way back to the Greyhound station. Yo, just give me somewhere to eat, please. <laughs> oh, it's like a credit union thingy. Um, something and training something. Okay, so um, yeah, they got a fancy sculpture over there. I'm assuming that's their their logo and whatnot. And um, <coughs> yeah, I gotta hurry up and go get indoors before I get sick, baby. Cause we ain't got sick. Hey! It's, it's it's very noisy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to myself. Shut up in three, two. Wait, hold on. Actually, if I if I met, if I see something interesting or something comes to mind, I'll, I will say something. Otherwise, I'm not gonna shut my mouth in three.
enjoyed our little 